could ask you just to hold them until I've introduced all of them. I know it's cold here. Uh, Representative Paul Anderson. Representative Mike Beard. Laura Broad. Greg Davids. Bob Detmer. Connie Dopke. Al Doty. Keith Downey. Tom Emmer. Tom Hackbarth. The chief author of Woman's Right to Know, Representative Mary Liz Holberg, who fought tirelessly working on the language, the strategy, and the implementation of, the, of Woman's Right to Know. Thank you. Okay, so, right, okay, very good. Uh-huh. Um, I've noticed this, because I've dug into this a bit and I've come to some of these other demonstrations, that in most countries around the world, the abortion rate is roughly the same, whether it's legal or not. It seems to me like the limit might actually be on whether someone wants to do it, not whether it's legal. Because I think it's actually pretty traumatic for the person doing it. Um, what do you think that your legislation changed? Because you think that really changed how women look at the event then? The well, woman's right to know? Actually, after the woman's right to know bill was enacted, the rate of abortions in Minnesota went down 14%. Uh -huh. So we did see a marked decrease. And you think that's due to your bill? When women were offered the information uh -huh. about uh, fetal development, etc. So yes, and in fact, that's been replicated in virtually every state that has passed similar legislation. Where do you see, where do you want to go next? Well, I, yeah. you're not content, well, are you? Well, no, <laughs> of course not. Uh -huh. um, and I, I, I firmly believe that with the advances in medical technology, where we can now document from conception the development of the unborn baby, it gets really hard to say that life doesn't begin at conception. Well, then, do and you so want the even younger, birth control? Then? The younger population, my kids, etc., you know, they have grown up with that knowledge um, where of course when I was young we just didn't have the technology to be able to uh, show that uh, development from conception so I think that will inform the public and also help with uh, policies around if the world. we are a life then with just two one cell really you know one hill cell hitting another cell then do you believe in birth control at all then do you think for your that we should have that at all uh, yeah I do think that there are, there should be birth control as a choice uh -huh. Um, to avoid conception, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I think well, but really I think uh, you have that technology to see that that's life there from from the moment a, a sperm hits the egg. Right, but if you stop that from happening, you stop the beginning of that process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I don't, I don't have any problem with mm. supporting birth control. Okay. That, that's my, that's my uh, alternative. That's Indeed. the positive Well, that part also may it. account for some of our abortions coming down too, though. Um, it's hard to say though. I think it's hard to find out what people do their message across because you're after the hearts and minds It isn't just legislation Well what again, like, like I said, I think that the technology and the public being more and more informed mm -hmm. is going to move this issue from a public uh, perspective uh, to reduce the number of abortions. Also, we have uh, more and more documentation about the negative effects on women afterwards, and that's all getting out, and people are being informed. Have and you been to these other demonstrations on this day? This oh, is an annual for many event. Years, yes. Then I'd have to say, from the demonstrations I've seen this year, I think you have the largest that's formed up at the Capitol. I don't think I've seen anything bigger. Have you? In total demonstrations? In number of people. Oh, the Taxpayers League on April, oh, really? April 15th. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen a big, bigger But I, I've uh, seen a couple, and I, I guess I've only seen maybe Obama oh, and yeah, Sarah Palin this, draw that many people to a spot yeah, and say... Yeah, this is very respectable. Mm-hmm. Well, so I think so, you have a movement. Well, I, I think that we do, and it... Um, again, I, it's, it's the younger generation that's going to change this. Um, it's the, you know, the generation ahead of me. I was in uh, high school when the women's lib and the Roe v. Wade and everything you know, happened, and those women now are in their 60s and 70s that uh, put that fight forward, and um, so you see diminishing um, involvement, mm. and you see the younger generation really being aware of that life begins at conception, and they don't argue with that. Now, whether or not 
then you move in, of course, to, uh, you know, whose body is it, etc., and whose right trumps whom's in the discussion. But So you uh, think there's sort of two tipping points there, technology, but also... Um, um, <laughs> better, I mean, you can see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see it on the screen. You can see it through ultrasounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are um, also in the advances with premature births. I mean, you can, um, children can survive uh, premature birth a lot earlier than they could even five years ago. Well, thanks so much.